Events like this aren't just about exciting scientists and fascinating the public, but they're a really big deal for amateur astronomers. And some of the research they're doing could prove more important than you'd first think. Ian's part of a community of enthusiasts using raw, unprocessed data that NASA makes public to make their own detailed images of what the other planets look like. This is a website called unmannedspaceflight.com. It's basically a melting pot of people like myself who don't really have any qualifications, although I've got a GCSE in astronomy. His recent colour image of Pluto attracted international media attention, the aim always being to create a view as though you were on the spacecraft yourself. But this isn't just art, it's also about making discoveries. In 2006, the Cassini orbiter uh, took some photographs of the rings from behind the planet. I actually spotted in a couple of images a faint little line um, and I pointed it out to other people on the website and um, within a couple of days there was an official press release and sure enough they were new rings. But it helps if you know the basics before you get started. What a lot of people don't realise is that spacecrafts don't actually have colour cameras. So, for example, you can have a red filter, a green filter, blue filter. You can even have special filters that will only allow in very narrow wavelengths such as methane absorption bands and all sorts of other technical um, uh, filters, but you can take a, a black and white image taken through red filters, green filters and blue filters and make a colour image. That's what Pluto would look like in colour. Amazing. <laughs>